Welcome to the Jazz Narration! Hello, welcome to the Giant Snail Races. I'm Race Race Going, and it's uh, the 10th birthday of Second Life today, or more or less. This is about when I started, uh, when I when I joined SL, I was in the middle of their uh, first birthday party. And now it's their 10th, so I'm in, like 9 years old. Anyway, this is uh, Tindy in my seat next to me. She's a uh, snail pro and um, going to announce stuff and things, so say wave hi. Hello, everybody. Happy birthday, second life. You're a little soft. Okay. And then, uh, Xanadu, that's, um, Salem in her Xanadu costume. Say hi, Xanadu. Hello, everyone. And I'm going to help Basu with the announcing today. Yay. And, mm-hmm. um, your friend, um, Salem, she, uh, she, she worked on the maze and she changed some things. What, 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 she, what she changed on the maze? I think she changed the timing on the uh, moving walls in the maze. Okay, so they're shorter now, right? Yes. Okay. You don't have an exact time on this, do you? Yeah. No. Nope. <laughs> okay, never mind. All right, then I guess we'll get down to the uh, the snail racing. Um, okay, Zenadu, why don't you tell us who's out there? Okay, racers. So today we are kind of... Uh, low on our participants it must be snail hunting day out there so we're gonna have to start with the green scarf of Udomi Noodle the light blue scarf of Tendai Soothsayer and the pink scarf of Gareth Ed Albatross those are our racers it's now time for the button alright go ahead Huge crowd. Meow meow one. <laughs> meow, <laughs> Thanks meow, for coming, two. everyone. Meow meow three. Meow. And we have dumped the castle gate, and it is go go snails for our giant snail races. Well, it's going to be kind of easy to follow the snails. These are all pro snails. <laughs> yes, they've and all done all this many times. New maze, though. New maze. Don't get too used to that maze. It's going to, because I hear from Salem that a new one is going to be there next week. Uh, next week? Next week. We just got this one. I thought it was going to last till the end of the season. And there goes our snail hitting the spring. Is it going to be an easier one? Oh, and Gareth gets no spring off the spring. Tries no, again. No, I think it's going to be. I think it's going to be a different layout. Okay. Are we going to make it easier for everyone? <laughs> I'm not making it. Look how complicated it is. Yeah, but you know, you're schizophrenic. It's now. gonna be <laughs> uh, gonna be the same style. It's just the just different. Okay, it looks like they're stopped at that invisible wall that they can't get through for 15 or 20 seconds or something. Something like so that. So Gareth, yes. Gareth is passing, and they're waiting, and they're waiting, and they're waiting. It's supposed to be shorter. <laughs> I thought it was supposed to be shorter too. Uh, was that the was that the shortest way or was that the second the the, the easier way? Uh, there's three ways to get through. There's the medium way. Yes. I think she changed the time on. I think There's you were at the shortest the way. Path. So Gareth's in the lead now. I hate that maze. <laughs> I think everyone hates the maze now. Maybe that's why Saffir didn't want to race. She hated the maze last week. Yeah, it's probably too hard for some of our intermediate snails. Hmm. Yeah. Uh. 
So I talked to someone who said that uh, they were trying to get funding for a, a TV station that's going to show uh, uh, internet internet shows like this on it. And I said, oh, great, that's what we've been looking for. Except it's going to be in Canada. But that's fine. At least we'll be on TV. And that'll be great if that happens. I don't know if that'll happen, though. It looks like they've been working on that for a few years. But we'll see. Soon in Canada, you may be able to see giant snail racing on actual TV. Just as TV <laughs> becomes uh, obsolete. <laughs> I hope you sent them to our executives at Twit at uh, Street. Uh, you sent me. So you're hoping I sent uh, who to what? You know the people who are sh currently showing us Street TV. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I showed them that. I showed them where we, what where we are at now, so they could see That's our shows. It. Because yes. we're not doing this alone, we wouldn't be we wouldn't be possible, and you wouldn't be able to see us without the great people at Street TV. That's true. We worked hard on it, and I, I'm, and we still miss Wiz Norberg. He was wonderful <laughs> when he was on the show. Yep. I saw a newbie yesterday. Oh. It looked a lot like Wiz, except he was running around naked. <laughs> oh, look, naked Wiz. <laughs> oh, Garrett took a fall. Oh, Garrett's in the pond, and uh, Tindy's up there, and. Uh, Udomi is way back somewhere. Yes, Udomi is. Thinking this. Yep, he is. just He's about just to take the, the spring up. Udomi is. goes Tindy. Udomi is just getting past the shark tanks. As for Gareth, he's just landing at checkpoint number three, and Tindy's entered the moving maze. Moving maze, the dark maze. The maze. <laughs> Whatever it is. <laughs> Whatever it is. <sighs> Ooh, this is something uncharacteristic. What's that? What? Gareth took Gareth. the short path. Uh, he knows the timing now. Something like that. the the wall is down. Go go go. <laughs> oh, yeah. And there's the. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. When you start changing parts of the parts of the track, that's when everything gets crazy. But it's been two years like this, and it's time for a change. Somebody just finished. Who's that? Nobody. Me and Gareth. I see the. I see the. Uh, uh, a Gareth. Two two snails have finished, while we were looking at the maze. <laughs> and we'll, it's a three we'll snail race. We'll get to the recap in just a sec. We'll find out who they were. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Time for the recap. There it is. Recap. So, coming in first, it was Tendalia Soothsayer. In second place, Gareth Ed Albatross. And finally, last, Little Me Noodle. Nice. Okay, then um, let's get to... Okay, and here we are with the SL10 birthday cake, and I've, I've, I've rebuilt the cake from last year and it's got more pieces it's going to be great go ahead and blow it up Salem or Sanadu or whoever you are there it goes yay it's not beautiful Is rattling. Yep. So do I. I don't know where our explosion noise went. Boom. 
Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> Every one of those pieces had an explosion noise in it. Okay. That's our that's our SLT birthday cake. Yay! What? To the stats. Yeah, the stats. That's right. Let's do the stats. That's me in the stats. Let's get to me in the stats. Well, if you insist. All right. So two races into this season, and we have uh, now you see Sarah's in first with twenty points. Garrett the double cross in second with sixteen points. Oodle me noodle in third with nine points. Olin Cortez in fourth with nine points. And so see so see little resident in fifth with four points. Saffron Knightley in sixth with four points. Wolfkey Crocus in seventh with two points and like her sleeping in eighth with one point. And Luminolia really uh in ninth with zero points. That's our stats. Now we go up to Xanadu in the booth with the best in show. We have uh, actually this has been uh, this is now first for our best in show. All the contestants or competitors in the race are in the best in show this time. Yay! Because there's only been three. So <laughs> our second runner-up is Umi Noodle. Look at that sweet, sweet party hat. He's ready to go out to SL10B and celebrate Second Life's 10th birthday. Our second, or I mean our first runner-up is going to be a Tendali Soothsayer. What? Tendi is also <laughs> looking also great. Wonderful party hat. SL10B rotating above the top. That's a lot of work for for second place. Mm. Okay. So we're gonna. I'm gonna. Who's, I'm who's gonna our winner? I say, as our winner of today's Preston show. That delightful number ten on this show. Yes. <laughs> Good job on that. Okay. Oh yeah. Okay. Uh, all my nightmares come true. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, that's our best in show. It is now time to go back to Racer and Snail Dude. All right. Okay. This is the part of the show where we put uh, the, hi there. This is the part of the show where we put uh, Snail Dude in the cannon and we shoot him off to the other side and we see what happens to him. It's always fun and he usually dies. <laughs> get in the cannon, Snail Dude. <laughs> get in the cannon. I don't care. Just get in the cannon. This is what. This is your job. <laughs> this is what you do. <sighs> Just get in the cannon. Okay, he's in there. Poof. Prepare to be astonished. Uh, feel free to cheer in voice if you feel like it. You get to be on our show then. <sighs> Yay! He's <laughs> up. Uh, great go. crowd today. And he hit the bucket. Yay! Yay, you made it this time. Oh! <laughs> we dropped the big cake on him. <laughs> oh, yummy cake for such so snail, dude. That's your cake. He'll eat that later, I guess. The crowd loves that. Oh my god, shut up! <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, snail dude. Alright. Let's get on with the snail racing. Okay, as I'm gonna do, intro the snails, please. So, here we go once again with our three competitors and we're going to start with the red scarf and that is going to be on the neck of Gareth and Albatross. Hang on there a second. Uh, I, I just want to mention something here. You see how the that red thing is flickering? There's supposed to be one of those in front of each one of those snails out there but for some reason our... We're, we're, I can't see that. I mean it's, I can't even select it. It's mine and it's it's like... those are the, We're going to fix that next week. 
Anyway, thanks, SL, <laughs> for breaking another thing that I've made that's lasted for years. Second life, tenth birthday, ten years of breaking shit. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Okay, on with our next nail. Who else is out there? Okay, well, we've got the red scarf of Gareth Aid Albatross. Next to Gareth, we have the green scarf of Oodle Me Noodle and... And I see there is sticking with the light blue. Those right. are snails. Let's get to the button. Okay, let's get to the button. Please, no audience members hit the button. <laughs> get it, get it fast before they do. All right. Did we eject that guy? Check, check, check. See him in the audience. Meow meow. Meow meow three. Meow meow two. One. Meow. Have to kick starts. Does that do sometimes, huh? Mm -hmm. Cow prod next to <laughs> We have thump the wall. And it's go go snails. For our giant snail races, this is the race that counts. With creamy goodness, we've broken the wall. This is for all the marbles. For all the marbles. And this is for the money. The winner of the race gets 500 lindens. And second place gets 300 lindens. And third place, I think, gets 250 or 200 lindens. Uh, I'm not sure. And then the best in show gets 300 lindens. So, feel free to put money in those tip jars up there so I can afford to pay the snails. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. And they go going through the barriers. Difficult barriers this time. And yes, that is, an L, that is an L Greenick pen smacking our snails in midair. A green co. A green co. A green co. And they tell you it's tw it's going to be twenty bucks on the on the commercial, and then you, you you try and buy it, and it's thirty eight because they have to pay for shipping and handling and some special coating and that's a good stuff. Like yeah, that. crazy stuff. All right, right through the maze goes Tindy, and Gareth gets right through the maze. Let's see if uh, if uh, Udumi, Udumi gets no. her too late and it's closed. He's going to go around or wait oh. what twenty five seconds or something. Yeah. Let's watch the other snails while he's waiting for that. <laughs> so you try and take the shortest way. It has a like a fifty percent chance it's going to be twenty second wait or something. Something. Yes. Uh. It all depends on when you get there. Uh huh. And it's just on a timer. It's the cycles or what? Yes. Just on the timer. It doesn't sense anything, so that cuts down on lag because if you have a... Everyone knows if you have a script that's constantly sensing, that really causes lag. Right. Unless it's a touch sensor. So at the beginning of the race, if you cam over and you look at it and you, you see that you see that it's down, do you have time to get to it while it's still down? Anyway, that's how I would do it. I would figure out the timing on it. And it looks well, like it was down for those two. <laughs> yes. Well, thanks to the darkness, Prim, and the uh, way oh that God. the wall is created, it's kind of hard to see it. Unless uh, you actually know where to find right it. Unless you're right there. Okay. Yeah. Unless you see it. Yeah. So it's just kind of luck. Plus, you are in a race and don't really would ha wouldn't really have the time to stop and cam over. Yeah, unless it was before the race. But as it's always changing. Uh huh. Okay, 
Okay, it's still pretty complicated anyway. It would be complicated to, to, to get that, to cheat on that. Or not cheat, but figure it out. Figure it out? Yeah. It's difficult. I don't think anybody's going to that much trouble yet. Look at that. Look at the elaborate job Tindy did on our snail. <laughs> what a great job. Uh, you have a hat on, too. Of course I have a hat on. I made it. Yeah. <laughs> There's free hats behind the stands. If you there is anything. free hats behind the stands if you need a party hat. Okay, Garrett's taking the top way this time. Tindy, you didn't have to wait. Uh-oh. Garrett's gonna lose. <laughs> Garrett's gonna come in second anyway. Yeah, I took the chance. It yeah. worked out for me. Yeah, it worked out. And if you'd hit the wall, then Gareth would be in the lead. Right. So it's a lot of luck in the snail races today. Yes. And there's Tindy taking first. Anybody could win it. Yeah. <laughs> Tindy just happened to be the winner, though. There's that. They're picking second. There, you can see Ulumi back there at the uh, gates. Trying to find his way through. Does it make it? Yes. Plunk. That's a checkpoint number three. And is now heading to the dark maze. The very dark maze. Is it down? Yes. Yes, it is. He makes it through, no problem, and now must make it up the dreaded ramp of doom. Which yeah, is for, for once, yes, for once in this race, is not the most dreaded thing in on the track now. Oh, that ramp's still pretty nasty. <laughs> <laughs> and takes third place, so let's get to our recap. Hey. Come in first. It's Tindale Soothsayer. In second place, Gareth Aid Albatross. And last but not least, in third place, Little Me Noodle. Little. Yay. Yay. And uh, now is the time on snail racing when we dance. Who do we got up? What do we got? What are we doing? What are we doing next week? Look at that crowd! Thank you for coming. We are going to do circus theme. Circus theme, yay! We haven't done that in quite a while, so it's yeah. time for the circus to come we, to town. We used to do the freaky circus thing with the two-headed elephants and stuff. Hey, you can do freaky if you want. <laughs> we might have a two-headed elephant. Just wait and see. All right. Now it's wrong, the maze is not going to be changed until next, next week. Okay, we're going to give it two weeks before we change the maze again. Okay. Yeah. Next, next week? Okay. Okay, then. Say goodnight? Okay. Oh, yeah, goodnight, everybody. Say goodnight. Good night, everybody. Good night, everyone. <laughs> okay.